I've been playing on this upright piano these days and discovered something truly magical, the practice meme. It transforms the piano into this beautifully intimate and soft felt piano. I adopted a special piano technique that I think suits the sound quite well, and so I've decided to make some music with the setup today. Over the weekend, as I was playing with the mute on, something about the sound felt really familiar. It really hit a chord with this knot of emotions I've been carrying inside of me lately. It's sort of a mixture of restless uncertainty, a blurred sense of disappointment, quiet heartache, and a sense of searching with just enough optimism. Some days I ignore them, but on days like today, I do notice them lingering around. So here's the thing, the sound of the piano is far from perfect, but it fits these cloudy emotions quite well. So I'm going to write some music to be played with the mute on that hopefully captures some of these feelings. When I press the middle pedal down, a layer of felt is placed in between the hammers and the strings. This is what mutes the sound. To convey this feeling of restlessness, I came up with this pattern, which I'm going to play at a relatively fast pace. It's hard to make the music sound intentionally cloudy, like a beautifully overcast day, instead of overwhelming things with too much fog. So after some experimentation, I found a sweet spot with this new technique that I adopted. I'll call it murky fingers. It's sort of a mixture between having a fixed pattern and having a bunch of other notes that fill in the space at slightly imperfect and irregular intervals. I'm pressing the keys down rather softly, but I'm still maintaining a little bit of firmness in my knuckles and hand posture so that everything doesn't just turn to mush. As I was getting used to this technique, I found that the key point is to embrace all of the imperfections. There's something beautiful about being on that edge of clarity. Certain things are just vague and that's okay. The technique really reminds me of pointillism in art or this stippling technique. It's basically using a bunch of dots instead of strokes to make a drawing. I see a lot of similarities in between the two in terms of how small amounts of something accumulate to create a larger impression of something. In terms of the harmony, I'm going to play mostly 7th and 9th chords with more extensions added with my left hand. I find that as you add more notes to chords, the softer they become because they start to lose function and operate more for color. Compare that with a chord progression with more triads. There's more of a need for resolution because each chord is more functionally grounded. So with the chords that I'm using, sometimes I will get close to having a clear center, but I'm going to avoid staying there, sort of like how some thoughts come and go and they don't fully stay in our head sometimes. In order to capture the sound, I'm improvising a bit with what I have on hand since I'm not in my usual studio. I'm using this Earthworks small condenser microphone and the AudioFuse Studio by Arturia. I strongly recommend them both, especially the interface, which full disclaimer, I received from my friends over at Arturia. So in terms of mic placement and levels, can anyone relate to being indecisive about how much mechanical noise to include in the sound? Because I love hearing the instrument, especially the sound of the action, but sometimes it gets too aggressive. But if I pull away too much, I lose a lot of the details that make upright pianos really charming. I eventually settled on this placement, so maybe you all can let me know in the comments after hearing the piece whether or not you think it works. I've also decided to accompany this music with visuals, which I am creating using the stippling pointillism technique. Now onto the performance, I'm titling this Unbroken Clouds. Enjoy.
very special thank you to Marie, the owner of the piano, which I forgot to mention is a W. Hoffman piano, which I think is from the 80s. And of course, thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon, where I will make the full track available. If you're interested in other videos showing my personal and creative process, check out this video I did using the MicroKorg synthesizer.